I'm Michael Breen, a former Army officer and executive director at the Truman National Security Project. And I'm Siv Balachandran, engineer and analyst at the Union of Concerned Scientists. Did you know the U.S. military is the largest oil user in the world? Unfortunately, moving fuel on the battlefield is dangerous, and the oil is expensive. A $10 increase in the price of a barrel of oil costs the military more than a billion dollars. Money we can't use to protect, train, and equip our troops. So what can we do? So-called new sources of oil are still dirty, risky, and expensive. The real solution is to use less oil. That's why the military is deploying fuel-saving technologies in its ships, vehicles, and aircraft. For example, the Navy uses biofuels made from algae and other advanced sources, while the Army is powering Humvees with hybrid electric engines. These technologies could benefit civilians too, just like microchips, GPS, and the microwave, all of which the military helped to develop. Over the next 20 years, if we invest in cleaner fuels and more efficient vehicles, we can cut the nation's projected oil use in half. Our half the oil plan will help protect us from volatile oil prices. It will also create more than 1 million jobs, eliminate some 2 billion tons of global warming pollution per year, and position America as a leader in clean transportation technology. We've already made progress. Federal and state policies have helped cars go farther on each gallon of gas and put thousands of hybrid and electric vehicles on the road, saving us money, reducing emissions, and creating jobs. But we need to do more. By supporting policies that cut oil use even further, we'll keep America healthier, wealthier, and more secure. Be part of the solution by sharing this video and learning more about our plan at halftheoil.org. And check out the military's clean technology solutions at operationfree.net.